In this and the next example, we are going to work on important examples of pivot table, which everyone deals with. Human resource forms. One is a daily form about the absence and presence, about the salaries of each person, generally the detailed human resource form. Accountants and administrative affairs of a company mostly work with such forms. The second one is about the works that mostly done in projects. How many hours are worked on an activity? Or the client wants to see how many hours a company spent at site. Clients and project management teams mostly deal with such forms. The first form, which is the tail time keep, is better to be taught on power pivot. The second form is a good example for a pivot table. I will work now with this kind, but I will cover accountant or administrative affairs form in power pivot lecture. Project management form. This is a table which contains the data. Name of the personnel, the position and their activity in the site. When I scroll down the table, you can see we have empty rows. While the 1st of November finishes, an interval comes, then the 2nd of November starts. Actually, these intervals help me to control the table much more easy. Controlling the table with intervals? Yes, if I click on any cell on the 1st of the November and want to scroll down by pressing the control and at the same time press up and down buttons, I can easily switch through the dates. Pivot table. Now I need to get pivot table of this table. If you don't know how to create pivot table, see pivot table lesson. I want to see how many hours each company work on the 1st of November. You know the logic. If not, please check pivot table lecture. Hours in values, company in rows. Here the blank is because of the interval between days. I uncheck blank to see just Hunamun and Pemax companies. For seeing the date of 1st of November, I drag date into filters. In worksheet, filter section is activated. Select 1st of November and OK. We have just November in our table. When we work with dates, it is better to insert timeline instead of filtering. Clear filter here, select all, and remove date from filter field. Go to analyze, and from filter section, select insert timeline. As it is clear from its name, when your table contains date, then you can insert timeline. I check date and OK. From this box, select November and click on months. From this drop down menu, select days. Click on one. So, the 1st of November is shown now. Example 2. You are clearly learned pivot tables. Now I want this data from you. How many hours Pemax company worked in flooring? Pause the video and solve it with pivot table. Hours in values. Company in rows. Activity in columns. In row labels as a filter, select just Pemox and in column labels, 
select just flooring. Here is the result. You can put activity in rows also. So, both ways are correct. Example 3. How many hours are worked on Zoom 30 for concrete activity? Again, it is better to pause the video and solve it yourself. Zone and activity in row. Zone filter 30. And activity filter concrete. This is what I did, and the result is 95. It is not important how you reach the result. The correct result is important, and it is 95. As a client or project manager, I can ask you to give me as many as reports according to the needs. Easily by getting daily reports from site, you can design a form and with pivot tables, with dragging and dropping, you can get the fastest and easiest reports.